All right, thank you so much, Marty. The next group of talent for Fake Off on True TV will make their debut on Wednesday. This series combines dance, acrobatics, puppetry, technology, and talent. Sounds like my Friday night. You may recall <laughs> in season one, Rochester's Push Physical Theater came in second place. This is one of their rehearsals. That wasn't your Friday night? <laughs> I had a chance to speak with two of the judges, uh, Harry Shum Jr. from Glee and Fake Off's creative director, Lorianne Gibson, about the show. I love this because this is like the best of theater, you know, it all kind of rolled into one. And, you know, uh, another season, another, another, you know, time for these groups to try and, and wow you. What does it take to be truly impressed? I mean, in this world of, you know, I don't want to say fakery, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you got it right. I yeah, mean, I mean, it's what it is. is. It's just basically a trick or illusion. <laughs> so it's a trick, an illusion. I know, right? An illusion, <laughs> yes. You're, you're, that's it. You're, you're saying it. Fakery, fake, you know, however you want to say it. It's an a illusion. trick and illusion, you know. And then what's amazing about these teams is they're, they're doing incredible things, not just with their bodies, but utilizing technology and, and, and black light and shadow work. And they're, they're taking it to the next level with uh, theatrical performances. And I think, Norma, what it takes to, like, really wow you is having all of those components come together in 90 seconds, you know, and taking an inspiration from a moment in popular culture and making it soulful and creating excitement for the audience. And they have us sitting on the edge of our seat, and they're doing all of these things in 90 seconds. And for us, we're impressed at the fact that they even get through it. But beyond getting through it, is that they're really super talented artists and it is just incredible to see all of this talent and how they put it together. You know, there was a local, there's a local tie into this. So there's a, a local or a group called Push Physical Theater. They competed in season one yeah. of the show and they, you know, they just said what a wonderful experience it was. They said to be around all these other groups and all these other performers who are just as dedicated to the art of making people go, oh my, how did they do that, you know? And so to be around all these creative people, they said it was a great experience. Um, is that what you hope that people who watch the show, kind of even that they get away or that they take away from this, that wow, look at this, I mean, they really, you know, the show respects the performer. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. No, absolutely. And I know this is just my first season and Harry's second season, but as a creative director myself and someone that does create uh, these dynamics in popular cultures for recording artists and like someone who put a pop star in an yeah. egg, you know what yeah, I mean? Right. Um, it is this world <laughs> where, you know, incredibly gifted artists find a place where they can and a platform where they can really show the world, you know, what we're capable of doing, not just a singing show, you know what I mean? Um, it's not the same old thing. It's an incredible way to see puppeteers shadow work shadow work i mean Aerialist. flying I know, so many things dancers like, yeah. you know and for me it's almost like you know the future in variety shows yeah, you know yeah so uh, entertaining and there's they're good storytellers too that's a great part of this they're great storytellers so they tell a story in 90 seconds here and i agree with you i think mm -hmm. it's a place where you have real talent and you know true tv is awesome and to just really take this chance and do great work and 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 create a platform for real theatrical incredibly emotionally moving wowing performances is kind of awesome emotionally moving i love that and both of you have worked with some of the best in the business let's be honest i mean you both know what it's like to have you know an artist be super demanding you know this has got to be perfect this has got to look real what i'm about to do and so uh, for you this is nothing this is like yeah this is what we do for a living this is us you know and both of you performers well, dancers in your own way you're, you're, you're performers in your own right yeah, I mean, we've we've kind of been through through it all, dancing, choreographing, and then for her, more, uh, creative directing, and uh, seeing her, it was cool. One, uh, one of the performances, they make a reference on Missy Elliott, "I Can't Stand the Rain," and when she's in a trash yes, bag. Yes, I love that. People, a lot of people didn't know Lori Ann like, hey, that, did that. My, I <laughs> of that video. Was that your trash and, bag? And, and was that, that your trash bag? <laughs> My God, that was can you the imagine? best. I've she been, was. Oh, I've been cuckoo since then, right? <laughs>
But um, like Harry says, you know, it's really awesome to find people from your world yeah. really appreciating what you're doing and not just judging them, but mentor mentoring yeah. and understanding how difficult it is to get in that harness and you only have 90 seconds and you can't do as much as you'd like to do and you have one shot to do it. You know, that's what it is in the real world. When you do the Grammys or something, it's like five, four, three, two, it's showtime, it's folks, done. and Whatever you can't make a mistake, stage, oh, you know, yeah. That. Oh, my gosh, this is so fun. And now you got me thinking of that song, I can't stand the rain. I, can't, <laughs> yeah, I cannot do it any come, justice. Hey, I can't do it any Norma, justice. Norma, are you mm -hmm. sure you're not, are you sure you don't want to compete next season <laughs> on Fake Off? That you can we'll see you next season, Norma. You want to know what fakery is? Putting makeup on at 2.30 in the morning. I tell you, if you could convince the viewer that you look good, then you're all right. You're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> we do the early morning you show here. You understand the art of faking now. Exactly. <laughs> hey, I've had eight hours of sleep. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I couldn't sleep You're last big faker. night. I couldn't sleep last night. Yeah. It was well. tough. It's tough when everyone's like out and having. I know. You can hear the barbecues and yeah. around your house. Everybody yeah. enjoying themselves. A lot of activity this morning in Fairport. Yes. Uh, I think we're what? Only an hour 15 away from the parade there. Hannah Welker in that village. Yep. Talking to veterans, checking in, seeing how the preparations are going. Hopefully, we'll be able to check in with her in just a minute.